So that was a rough game last night. A uh, very rough game, uh, but a, a, a good basketball game. And um, give them credit. They won and forced the game six. Are you expecting more of the same game six? Oh, we talked about it being a great series from the beginning. Um, and it certainly has not disappointed. Uh, I think it's going to be exciting tomorrow night. A lot of physical play and a lot of rhetoric from both sides after the game last night. How do you maintain that from getting out of control in game six and guys keeping their composure? No, we're not concerned. Um, we play our brand of basketball. Um, there's no concern about guys getting out of character. Um, we understand what we have to do. Mark, after the game last night, I read in the paper that you said that you, you had heard from someone that they were going to play a particularly physical brand of basketball. I don't that's, know. that's not what I said. Could you please tell me what you said? I said it was said that that's what was taking place. So I didn't hear it before the game. When it was taking place it's, is when I heard it. Someone told you that, gee, this is really physical, what's happening out here? That this is not the type of basketball that they uh, co-sign. Meaning someone on the Denver, in the Denver? I'm not getting into it. Somebody that knows. Um, at the end of the day, I can live with physical basketball. Taking a, a stab at Steph Curry's ankles is not physical basketball. So um, you can hit him. I was even caught on tape, asked what would happen if I played against him and he heated up. I'd be physical with him. So that's understandable. It's not hypocritical. There's no part of me that said I'd be dirty with him. But if you just one other, well, just one other thing. Well, if you take a, a, a attempt to kick him with your foot on his foot, that's not a basketball play. That's a cheap shot. But in fact, you were the guys who were called for flagrants, not them. Last night, you guys were called for two flagrant fouls, and they weren't. That doesn't mean you're dirty. I've seen flagrant fouls called. This is basketball. Um, but in, to intentionally attempt to kick somebody as they're going through the lane is not a basketball play. To try to box out a premier rebounder, offensive rebounder as he's trying to crash the boards and to use two hands happens every single night. Now, was it a flagrant? If it's called that way, so be it. I'm fine with that. But credit to Kenneth Fareed. That's why he gets paid to do that. And Andrew Bogey gets paid to box him out. It's foul. They call it flagrant, so be it. But a basketball play is not uh, attempting to kick his ankle. Um, that being said, Steph Curry is a star basketball player. Some would say he's a superstar basketball player. He's on the floor for 42 minutes against a team whose game plan is to be physical with him, and he does not get to the foul line. Mark, Unheard of. Was everything outside of the play? Go back to Bogey. Was there He's asking there. questions. He's, He's asking questions. Outside of the one play with Steph, as far as everything the Nuggets brought last night, so do you feel like the rest of it was playoff basketball? If Steph Curry's running through the lane early in the first quarter and Kenneth Reed chucks him, he doesn't have the basketball. That's not a clean play, but it's a playoff play. So I'm not complaining about that. If you go to his ankles, trying to kick his ankles, hear me what I'm saying, while he's, while he's cutting through the lane, that's not a basketball play. If you want to hit him through the lane, it's playoff basketball. As simple as that. Can't be debated. So ad don't address all the other plays. Show that one clip and then address that. That's not a basketball play. In general, I mean, do you think you, you, you talk about you talk about the idea that that uh, the referees you know, maybe I didn't say anything about the referees. Please don't put words in my mouth. Uh, okay, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I mean, there was there was, there was, there was a call. I have said nothing about referees, though. All right. All right. No, you can ask questions. I just I have ne I have said well, nothing about the referees. I don't make excuses. I'm not going to say that you make excuses, but I mean, there certainly was a call with, with, the, with the screen set by Farid, and I think you even said last night that. You know, some of those screens were illegal. And then, you know, of course, uh, Festus gets called for that screen at the end of the game. I mean, a little bit of an equity, little, little bit of an equity going on, I mean, as far as you can tell. I mean, no, you got two teams that play pick and roll basketball that set screens. Javel McGee sets a screen on Steph very early in the ball game. It's a legal screen, the right call. Um, so it's going to go both ways. I have, I have no problem with all of that. They're going to set screens and hit them. 
that's fine. We're setting screens and hitting them. That's not that's not what I'm talking about. So please don't twist it and turn it. And I'm not talking to you specifically. I'm just saying in general, a play on Steph Curry's ankles is uncalled for. No, it's just the, the guy trying to win a series and, and trying to, you know, see, call what I see. Uh, I got a guy that's, some would say, is a superstar with the ball in his hands for 42 minutes and he doesn't get to the line with a team that's trying to be very physical with him because that's the way that you try to take him out of his game. Uh, that needs to be looked at. Did what do you say to the people? The game said he was as upset, Curry was as upset as anyone's ever seen him after the game. Do you worry about him kind of taking too much on in the next game? <laughs> no, no, Did he's going to like that. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Do you like that he's angry? I didn't think he was angry. I saw his eye banged up and bruised. I saw his uh, body beat up, but I, I don't think he's angry. I got a group of guys that's, that, that have an edge to them, and they're excited about having game six. What do you say to the people that call Steph soft? <laughs> Who's the people that's calling them? Supposedly the other team. The other team? The Nuggets. Who? I don't know who. It, then I can give you a, a real answer if you tell me who. Uh, I can't. It depends on if if Mike Tyson calls him soft, then I'd say, oh, <laughs> you know, Mike has a point. Not anymore. <laughs> going, back, going back to Bug, was there a reason that he didn't play in the fourth quarter? No, no reason at all. I mean, it was the reason he went with Azili instead of him. Azili was playing well. Uh, Bug is our starting center, and he's he's played a huge part in this series, and will continue to. We just put a run together. Is it just a Fareed targeting Steph's ankles, or is it anybody else in the Nuggets? I didn't say. I didn't say Fareed was on that one play. Yes, that one play it was clear. But you always say things ratchet up, playoff intensity wise, playoff basketball. Guys get hit, things you know, physical plays. Some, sometimes gets let get, gets let go. On some level, are you sort of? In, in some level, are you kind of happy that your team got a real taste of? what how bad playoff basketball would be in terms of the physicality and the letting things go we already sensed it uh, we played that way from game one um, so we're not experiencing it now at the end of the day we can tolerate physical play we cannot tolerate dirty play Andre Miller comes out of a play bloody everybody's going crazy and he hot he, he, he shakes Draymond Green's hand realizing that it was just a basketball play and a mistake made how different that game was going to game six, you know, that you came back, you know, that you kind of, I guess, you know, the, the best in the locker room, you took your best shot. Did that change anything for you guys? Did you do that? No. Um, you know, some people say yes, but we know who we are. When we do the things we're supposed to do, we're going to be just fine. Our problem was we did not take care of the basketball. They scored in the paint. They got it going in transition. They out rebounded us. Um, we know what will take place when we when we handle our business, and when we don't, we have nights like last night. But I think the great news is you look at a team that's not going to quit, not going to battle. The great news is that in spite of doing all those things, we was in position to win a ball game on the road. Mark, when, when Fareed went after uh, Curry's ankle. Was it intentional, or is it possible that it was just a mistake? It's not a basketball play to kick your foot out. Not a basketball play. Was it the only? Was that the only instance of that kind of dirty play in the whole game? That's the one that stood out to me. It was blatant. Okay. You you expect them to play big again based on what happened last night, and if so, do you, if they do it again, do you have do you have to counter in some way? No, I have no expectations as far as what they're going to do. Um, you know, obviously they'll be physical again. They'll try to beat up Steph Curry. They'll try to set illegal screens. Um, they'll try to chuck him when he goes down the lane. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what, what to expect out of him. You know, the, you know the, the trump card is being a little bit more physical and trying to beat up our star player. But Coach, to, com to combat that, I mean, are you, are you to what degree are you concerned that your team will focus on, com on meeting physical play with physical play as opposed to doing what they do, which is shoot, shoot well? That's not what we do, though. We're a defensive-minded team uh, that have 
know, put ourselves in position to be up 3-2 and taking home court advantage. I said it from the beginning, the best team will win this series. Uh, so I'm not concerned about us. You, you don't feel the need to say anything you so out about, hey, no, you know, just because we had this situation come up in the last game, no need to get out of our comfort zone doing what we do. Just That's not going to happen. Physical. That's not going to happen. The reason why is because we are our habits. We don't have a, a, a desperation trick uh, to get out of character. We are who we've prepared to be from day one, and that is what will propel us to, uh, to handle our business. You guys, you guys were in position to really cut it close last night, even closer than you did, and there were a couple of kind of mistakes. I mean, and you had some mistakes in the game that you won here late in the game. I mean, do, you, are you, do those things concern you, that there are still a couple of kind of you know, brain freeze moments? Well, you call them brain freeze moments. I'm not an NBA player, though. No, I no, like I, I understand that. <laughs> Neither am I. Uh, I call it being a young basketball team with three rookies in your rotation uh, and a second-year guy. I call it a team not having a lot of playoff experience. And for a team that you define that way, to be out 3-2 with an opportunity to seal a deal at home, I'm awfully proud of them, and there's no concerns. Do you feel you have to seal the deal at home? It's a seven-game series, the best, uh, the first to win four. We are up 3-2. We've got to win a fourth game. One thing they did last 